I think the local versus international school comparison in Hong Kong is actually really similar to what you'd find almost anywhere else. Uh, one part of the international system is just focused on catering to foreign families who've moved here and who at some level are trying to minimize the disruption to their children's educational lives, which once again shows that managerial aspect that we want to try and smooth things as much as possible for our children or we want to streamline things accordingly. But by and large, I think there's a broad perception and an almost universal perception, regardless of where you go, that international schools will tend to be superior to local alternatives. And I think that's largely driven by the fact that at international schools, obviously, A, it's more expensive, so it automatically excludes certain economic brackets from participation. So at one level, you have these schools that, at least on the face of it, are far more well-resourced. At the same time, that obviously, by comparison, that would mean that local schools are relatively underfunded, even the great, good ones. I think the other big thing that perhaps is more relevant to Hong Kong is just perhaps the focus on pure theoretical academics as opposed to, let's say, a wider diversity of experiences. In that regard, international schools have roughly as much of a pressure on grades and just getting marks and exams as local schools do. But in many cases, they amp up that pressure even further by pushing their students into more extracurricular activities and enrichment experiences in camps. And it's a classic hallmark of elite education. It doesn't really let up on the pressure for grades, right? And that's a common misconception people have, that in local schools, children primarily wrote learn, and in international schools, the curriculum is more fo focused on critical thinking and the education model is fundamentally different. It's not that. Both of them use the same base template as their educational model. It's just international schools attach a much, much larger number of elements on top of this. And so you essentially have two cakes, one without icing and one with icing, sprinkles, M&Ms, and a couple of Kit Kats on top. And the effect of that is actually somewhat detrimental as well, because a common criticism for international schools in Hong Kong and the systems they deploy in general is that it actually saps their students of motivation, which is a common enough story that you hear in the local system as well, that we're training these robotic people who can't seem to think for themselves, who are hesitant to speak their opinions or are just somehow shut in inside. And it's kind of true of international school kids to an extent as well. A lot of their deeper learning and curiosity and motivation is also missing, despite the fact that they have a much broader array of experiences and activities open to them. So yeah, it's sort of like rote learning and rote learning plus. And that's the core difference in my opinion.